The 2024 presidential race has taken an unexpected turn with Kamala Harris staking out a bold new position on cannabis legalization, while Donald Trump struggles to respond. In this analysis, we'll break down how Harris' leftward shift on this critical issue is reshaping the political landscape, especially among young voters, and how Trump is attempting to counter it. Kamala Harris has taken the most progressive stance on cannabis legalization ever seen from a major party candidate, far surpassing even President Biden, who has only supported decriminalization. Harris is now openly calling for full federal legalization, marking a historic move. Critics have pointed out that she once opposed legalization, but this shift mirrors other high-profile political evolutions, like Barack Obama's change of heart on same-sex marriage. While some view her flip-flop as a weakness, others argue it's a sign of growth, showing Harris is willing to adapt to the public's evolving views. Harris' position stems from her belief that criminalizing cannabis has disproportionately affected marginalized communities. She emphasizes that people should not be incarcerated for marijuana use and that legalization is a step toward correcting these historical injustices. Despite previous opposition, Harris now firmly believes that full legalization is the way forward, standing her ground on an issue that continues to gain popular support across the country. Meanwhile, Donald Trump has been trying to respond to Harris' bold stance. In a post on Truth Social, Trump advocated for ending arrests for small amounts of marijuana and supporting state rights to regulate cannabis. While not fully embracing federal legalization, Trump's position has clearly been influenced by Harris' lead on the issue. His statement focused more on reforming cannabis laws rather than taking a strong stance for or against legalization. However, his response seems carefully crafted by aides rather than reflecting his typical brash communication style. Trump's strategy here is twofold, appealing to more conservative voters by avoiding full legalization while attempting to capture some of the youth vote by softening his stance. But Harris' direct and unambiguous call for legalization may put her ahead on this issue, especially with younger voters who favor progressive cannabis laws. As we look ahead to November, cannabis legalization has become a pivotal issue, with Kamala Harris leading the charge and Donald Trump scrambling to keep pace. Some text goes here will this bold stance give Harris an edge with young voters, or will Trump's more cautious approach sway undecided moderates? One thing is clear, the future of cannabis in the U. is now a significant topic in the 2024 election, and both candidates are scrambling to find the right message.